Hello everybody, this is again the MATLAB and Simulingration Lounge and today we have kind of a special session because we have a special guest we have the Chief Judge of Formula Student Germany Owen Carles in our group and we are at the Formula Student Germany so right now the autocross is going on we've seen very good times from electric cars but as well from combustion cars and I think we, we are going to give you some updates about trends, technology and all that stuff. So welcome Owen. We are glad that we have you here. Oh, thanks Christoph. It's good to be here. Very good. So you've been chief judge for quite some time, not only in Germany, also for other competitions? That's right. So I've been here as a chief judge in Germany for two years. This is okay. my second year. Okay. Uh, but I've been as a lead judge here for four years. Okay. And in the UK doing a similar job, but for... Okay seven or eight years now. Okay, so you know pretty much what kind of technology is in the cars, what the trends are. Sure, and it's actually been really exciting the last uh -huh. five or six years to see the electric cars come through, and, and now there's a, a proper competition between, between okay. electric and combustion cars. Yeah. Okay, so what we see in Germany is that there's uh, two competitions, one electric competition, one combustion, which is not the case in Silverstone, for example. What do you think is the right way for the future? So do you think they will always be separated? Do they compete against each other, or...? Well, I think that's a very, it's a very good question. I, it's difficult to uh, decide how to balance the performance between combustion cars and electric cars. Uh, the way it's run in Germany in two different categories is really interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. And I think at the moment that's the best way to go. What okay. we're seeing is the electric cars are advancing very, very quickly. And therefore, any performance rule between combustion and electric cars has to keep changing. Okay. And this would be unfair on the teams. So at the moment, I think running in two separate categories is the correct thing to do. Okay. I think that's that's pretty straightforward answer here in that case. Um, we see that a lot of teams show up with two cars. So, for example, Karlsruhe is coming with a combustion car and an electric car. Same for Munich and Stuttgart. Sure. I think that's a, a massive workload for the teams, isn't it? Oh, oh, exactly, yeah. I mean, uh, one of the things that we talk about with the students is this is a difficult project. Exactly. But if it wasn't difficult, we wouldn't do it. None okay. of us would be sat here. Exactly. And I think while it is difficult, it does give the opportunity to learn a lot more. Okay. And there can be some shared knowledge and some parallels. Certainly, uh, the demands of the circuit are the same okay. no matter whether you've got a combustion okay. car or electric. Okay, that's, that's a very interesting point that you're mentioning. What, what are the differences of electric and combustion cars? And what are points where the teams should cooperate because they can save a lot of time on that? Oh, sure, exactly. Um, certainly, uh, the driver is the same whether he's in a combustion car okay, or yeah. an electric car. Yeah, so yeah. He, he has the same kind of requirements. And as we've been watching today at the autocross, the electric cars look like having a lower workload for the driver. He doesn't have to worry about gearing. Uh, he just kind of like a PlayStation. You know. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so what we've seen yesterday in the design finals for the electric cars, it's pretty much the same setting. So they all have carbon fiber monocoques, they use pre prec technology, they are quite advanced in manufacturing and testing. Um, when it comes to um, four-wheel or two-wheel drive, so where do you see, well, big potential? So will there just be four-wheel electric cars or what do you see uh, for the well, uh, electric system? Sure. I think it's really interesting area of development at the moment. Mm -hmm. So uh, not just two and four wheel drive, but also the management of the energy. So one of the main reasons the electric car is a very attractive proposition is not mm -hmm. just because of the technology and the fact mm -hmm. that it is new, but also the efficiency and regeneration okay. and braking. Okay. This, of course, has an effect on vehicle dynamics. And yeah. If you have a four-wheel drive car, you can recover energy off the front okay. wheels as well as the rear. Okay. And this is a big area of, of mm -hmm. uh, development, exciting development for the teams. Uh, that's what I've also been seeing during design judging. So the electric teams focus much more on, well, launch control, um, care system, recuperation, um, traction control. So I see a lot of electrical engineering guys running around in that teams, whereas in combustion cars, it's dominated by mechanical engineers. Is it something you, you agree on, or is it a different way of uh, uh, developing a car? No, it's definitely something I, I agree with. And I think the key point to, to think about here is with the electric car, uh -huh. a lot of the hardware that you need for electric systems and regeneration is in place anyway. Exactly. And then to get the most out of it, you start to then get into software. Okay. And of course, software doesn't weigh anything. And, and, and that's a nice okay. opportunity for the students to think about management of energy and efficiency. Okay, so what we see for, for development of electric cars might be that software is the key for the, for the 
upcoming seasons? I think it plays a big role, yes. Yeah. And, and I think the most successful teams will marry the software development uh -huh. with the requirements of the car. So okay. understanding the vehicle performance and how the energy and the drive system should be managed okay. to make the driver's life easier and make the car faster. Okay, cool. Um, and what we've seen today, cars are pretty much um, comparable, but we see a bit the better times for electric cars. Sure. I think there's something in the rule there in, in as much as uh, the electric cars can run at their absolute peak performance mm -hmm. in the autocross. And mm -hmm. this is r a really impressive sight mm -hmm. to see. Uh, okay. And even though they don't make much noise, they yeah. still are, are really, really it's good. It's impressive to it's see them, it, for really, sure. it really is yeah. amazing. And, and I, anybody who comes to visit uh, FSG should definitely see some, yeah. some of the, 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 the okay. Dalson Zurich of this world. Okay, I've heard s there will be some changes, or at least there are changes discussed for the maximum power output of electric cars. Is there already a, a conclusion achieved, or is, is it right now in discussion? So, so can you comment on that? Sure. So at the moment, it's in discussion. Okay. The, the, the behind former student Germany and UK and SAE in mm -hmm. America is a rules committee, mm -hmm. uh, and what they like to do is try and have all the rules the same across the competitions. Okay. And this is fair on the students because yeah, yeah. they okay. can enter all the competitions. Okay. So I think now we could switch to another topic. I've seen a lot, a lot of aerodynamic packages. Compared to last year, a lot of team, uh, teams have chosen to go for that. Could you just comment br briefly on, well, should a team do it? Should, should they not do it? What is the, the, the magic behind? Sure. Okay. I'm not sure there's much magic, but there's certainly a lot okay. of science. Um, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I think what we've seen over the last few years is the rules were relaxed deliberately uh -huh. by the okay. organizers to try and make it more attractive to run aerodynamics. Okay, so and to this, force the teams a bit to sure. try on that. To, okay. to offer a, a bigger mm -hmm. incentive to develop aerodynamics. Okay. And we know on road cars especially, aerodynamics are very important. Yeah. Um, so the, the, the very smart teams realized immediately that aerodynamics would be mm -hmm. very um, crucial to their performance. Mm -hmm. And I guess the last two or three years, especially here in FSC and, and mm -hmm. FSE in Germany, mm -hmm. uh, we've seen cars with wings and well-developed aerodynamic okay. packages doing very well on the track. Okay, so what would you say to a team that is thinking about putting an aerodynamic package to that? What are the key tasks they have to do in order to be successful? Sure, I think at the, at the very outset we have mm -hmm. to start uh, as a team with some simulation of the vehicle okay. and looking at the vehicle performance. Okay. It's probably fair to say that if the team does develop an aerodynamics package and put it on the car, then they have to be very confident that it gives them a benefit. Okay. And it has to be well executed. Okay. If there are some instances where the aerodynamics are not done very well. Mm -hmm. They still give a lap time benefit because of the regulation. Okay. But actually, they detract from the quality of the car, and that's a shame. Okay. Again, for that topic, I've heard some rumors about rules to be changed. Can you comment a bit on that? What's going on there? Sure. So, uh, again, this is just a proposal. Mm -hmm. um, I imagine that it will be passed as a regulation, but at the moment okay. they're talking about making the wings smaller mm -hmm. and also having a trade-off between uh, the size of the vehicle and the size of the wing. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And I, I think uh, my understanding is the, wing, is the wings are not going to go away. Uh, they'll still, okay. be, they'll still okay. be important, but uh, it'll be much more of a challenge for the students to, to, to do a really effective aerodynamic okay. design. So, uh, Owen, you have mentioned simulation that teams are doing. I, I have seen in the design judging so a lot of teams are using simulation basically all of them and um, but not always I, i've seen a clear motivation so usually you have certain goals that you want to achieve with simulation i had the impression that some teams just did them to have nice images on the on the design report so what is your impression on that yeah i think i think what you say is probably true of some teams uh Certainly, as design judges, we're used to looking at plots from FEA and yeah, CFD, yeah. Uh, and I think that's very accessible for students to take their solid models uh, and exactly. do those kind of analyses. Mm -hmm. What we don't see so much mm -hmm. is whole vehicle performance simulation. Mm -hmm. okay. So an understanding at the very beginning, when they start with a blank sheet of paper, where the team should allocate their resources, which areas are most important for them to concentrate on, and I think simulation can play a role there. Okay. At the very beginning of the project, not just in the detailed design. Okay. And... When it comes to testing, do the teams enough testing? Should they do more? Should they do more simulation and less testing? So what could be a smart strategy for the teams? Well, this is a very difficult question, of course, because... Uh, no, based on what you have seen for the, the, for the presentation of the teams in the design final. Sure. So what I think, do you recommend? I, I think in the design final we have teams which are judging it pretty well. Mm -hmm. uh, what's interesting for me is that... It's not just testing at a vehicle level. Okay. You have to do some testing at a system level as well. Okay. And 
doing a simulation of an upright, for example, okay. needs then testing of that upright rather than testing of the entire car. Okay. And I think linking back to what we talked about mm -hmm. earlier on, the aerodynamics and the testing and verification of yeah. the CFD yeah. is, is an area which hasn't really been exploited yeah, yet. Exactly. So there's definitely potential for improvement. Oh, sure, yeah. Even if the teams don't have access to a wind tunnel. I think there are other methods of, of oh, definitely. testing that. Oh, yeah. definitely, yeah. I mean, obviously, a wind tunnel is a great facility mm -hmm. to, to develop parts. Uh, the real benefit of a wind tunnel is allow you to look at different mm. um, setups on the vehicle and how that okay. affects aerodynamics. But even so, you can, even without a wind tunnel, mm -hmm. still understand whether the aerodynamics are working for you and you can measure mm -hmm. downforce and drag and, and other things. And even flow visualization paint okay. is, a, is a good way of, of looking at how the aerodynamics are working. Okay, perfect. So I think we are pretty much at the end. We have gained great experience from you. So I, I'm trying to summing up a bit. So electric versus combustion. So we will see both types for the next few years. There will be a nice competition. Perhaps the key for electric cars is a bit more on the software and the combination to hardware. That might be the, the, the tricky thing here. When it comes to aerodynamics, you say there will be aerodynamics in the next seasons, but might be some changes on the rules, and the teams should work a bit more on simulation, testing, putting that together, and really make sure that it's helping them. Definitely. And when it comes to simulation, I hear from you that, well, simulation should not be used just for the reports, but it should make their cars better. Definitely, yeah. I, th okay. I think uh, applying that simulation knowledge and really improving how the yeah, car performs yeah, okay. on, on track, yeah. Cool. Owen, thank you very much. No problem. I think we both are looking forward to the upcoming races, to the design finals, and we hope to see you soon in the next episode of the MATLAB Simulink Racing Lounge. Bye. Bye-bye. At the end of this session, I want to point out some of our resources, particularly for you. Um, we have the Formula Student webpage, we have the MATLAB and Simulink Racing Lounge page where we bring together all the videos for you. Then we are really interested in getting your feedback. Did you like that interview? Was it any helpful? You also uh, can mention if it's if you have any topics missing, please write us a mail, formulastudent at mathworks.com. And again, we offer software for you and your team. Just follow that link to the complimentary Formula Student software offer. Bye-bye.